Hey guys, welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'm making BLT mac and cheese, so let's get started. I want to go over ingredients really quick. I'm using these tomatoes right here. I'm going to show you what I do with these guys. I'm using spinach because of course we can't put regular lettuce in uh, mac and cheese. It will be too much liquid. And I'm also using turkey bacon versus regular bacon. And I'm using sharp and extra sharp cheddar. So yeah. So I sliced my tomato in half just like this. And I'm going to take a scooper. You can use a regular spoon. It's totally going to work. And you're just going to scoop out all the seeds out of your tomato. Just like that. Scoop it all out. You don't want any of that stuff in your mac and cheese. And you're just going to scoop out. See? Just like that. In my food processor, I have a cup of bread. I have a quarter cup of cilantro and parsley, and I have one scallion sprig and some pre-shredded cheddar cheese down in here. I'm also letting my bacon cook up while I work on this. I'm cooking up seven strips of bacon. So you're just gonna pulse this until it becomes crumbs, and this is gonna be the topping for the mac and cheese. In my pot, I have two tablespoons of butter melted. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour, stir it up, and cook this out for one minute. After you cook this out for one minute, you're going to add four cups of milk. You're just going to keep mixing. I'm using cold whole milk. Pour it all down in there and keep mixing until it thickens, and then we're going to add all the other ingredients. My sauce got nice and thick for me. Now I'm just going to season it up. Lots and lots of black pepper down in here. I'm going to add some salt. The salt is to taste, so make sure you taste your, your, your sauce to make sure it's good or if you need it or you don't need it. I'm also going to add some all-purpose seasoning. I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of hot sauce. I'm using sriracha but any hot sauce will do. Mix this up and cook it for a minute. Now I'm gonna add my cheese in. I'm using extra sharp cheddar and regular cheddar. And I grated this cheese. If you wanna use pre-shredded, that's totally fine. But the block is always better. Put it all down in there, mix it up. Then you're gonna cut your stove off and then we're gonna add all the other ingredients. Um, oh. mm. Now for the fun part. <laughs> I'm gonna put my pasta down in here. Tomatoes that we chopped earlier and the bacon. I wanna toss this together first before I add the spinach in cause I don't wanna break it up too much. So mix this up <laughs> and then we're gonna add the spinach in. Okay, now I'm going to just put my spinach all down in there. I'm gonna use about a cup and a half of spinach. It might look like a lot, but it is going to wilt, so. Now I'm gonna put it into my little ramekin and top it with our topping and bake it off in the oven. I have my macaroni and cheese in my little ramekin. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna top this with even more bacon, <laughs> as if we didn't have enough, right? Okay. I'm also gonna add some more cheese on top. Is. It is macaroni and cheese, so hey. And then we're gonna put the crumble that we made earlier on top of that. Pop this into a 400 degree oven. All we're doing is getting everything warmed back up and the crumbs um, toasted. So maybe 15 minutes. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I wanted to give a shout out, a quick shout out to Tyree Scale, Scales. Um, he's a young guy that I met on Instagram that's been commenting and supporting my videos and pictures. So I'm going to put his link below for, so you can check out his channel. He does skincare regimens, vlogging, dancing. It's just a fun, cool channel. So check him out and tell him I sent you. And yeah. This is what the BLT mac and cheese looks like. Um, it's nice and brown on top and the cheese is nice and melted. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this recipe and I'll catch you guys later on my next video. Okay guys, bye.